Been a long day, Sam. Good night. Grandad, have you forgotten? Forgotten what? Forgotten our story. We can't go to sleep without our story. Oh, yes, of course. Of course not, Sam. What story do you want? I want Elephant Nose. Sam, it's not Elephant Nose. It's called a trunk. I know. Let me begin. In a land far, far away, there lived a herd of elephants. There was a big papa elephant. And a little elephant who wanted to know about everything. Herd! Halt! <laughs> Good gracious me! A bumped trunk? Yes! Why do I have to have a trunk, Papa? It's always getting in the way. Come on, little one. Hold on to my tail. You can walk with me until you feel better. He couldn't do that without his trunk. Elephants use their trunks for all sorts of things. Like when they came to the trees, remember? Walt, at ease. Dinner time. Not hungry. Look at those delicious new leaves. Look at those soft twigs. Dip, dip, sky blue. Pull down those leaves and start a chew. <laughs> oh, why don't you try? <coughs> oh! <coughs> But elephants don't just use their trunks for eating, they also use their trunks for making noises and fighting. <laughs> oh, be careful, you two. <laughs> I smell danger. And I see danger. Form a circle! And they also use it for threatening. <laughs> Hooray, the trunks did it! They're so handy. But there's a lot more they can do. Not until you've had a wash. <laughs> oh, me too! Now we're cool. And we'll get even cooler. Is your trunk ready? Snorkel time! And the sun went down, and the moon came up, and Junior started thinking about all the things that his trunk could do. Breathing, greeting, smelling, eating, reaching, holding tight. Threatening, wrestling, tick, scratching, scratching showering, showering in dust. dust. Drinking, washing, swimming, sploshing, snorkeling right under. But Grandad, how did the elephants get their trunks? I'll ask you tomorrow.